everyone we are group 9 from division f presenting computer organization and architecture representation on von neumann's architecture i am rutuja garje along with my group mates sanket gangode yash garaye mohit garg and shitija garje in upcoming video following points will be explained so Let's begin with learning objectives. First, understand the origin of von Neumann's architecture. Second, understand von Neumann architecture. Third, understand its components and functionalities. Fourth, to be aware of other architectures. Architecture is basically a complex or carefully designed structure of something. Fixed programs, they were designed to do very specific operations. A calculator is fixed program computer. It can do basic mathematics, but it can't be used as word processor or gaming console. Changing the program of fixed program machine requires rewiring, reconstructing or redesigning the machine. Stored programs. A stored program computer is one that stores program instructions in electronic memory. Therefore, it can easily programmable. Newman is a stored program architecture introduced by John von Neumann, a Hungarian American mathematician, physicist, and computer scientist. Hello everyone, my Sanket, and uh, here you can see diagram of von Neumann architecture. The von Neumann architecture diagram typically consists of four main components. First, central processing unit. This component is responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations. It comprises two primary sub-components, arithmetic logic unit and control unit. Second, memory. Memory is used to store both the data and instructions that the CPU needs to process. Third, input output devices. These devices facilitated communication between the computer system and external world. For bus, the bus is communication pathway that enables the transfer of data and instructions between the CPU, memory, and input output devices. The basic concept behind the von Neumann architecture is the ability to store program instructions in memory along with the data on which these instructions operate. The von Neumann architecture describes a general framework or structure that a computer's hardware program and data should follow. Even all the most modern computers and mobile devices are designed based on this fundamental concept. It has three basic components, I.O. interface, CPU and memory. Now we will see I.O. interface. The I.O. interface allows the computer memory to receive information and send data to output device. It allows the computers to communicate to the user and secondary storage device like a disk and tab drives. We will see the information regarding central processing unit. It can be considered the heart of the computing system. It includes mainly three components or three parts, control unit, arithmetic logic unit and register. Now we will see all three parts in detail. Control unit of CPU, which is responsible for decoding the instruction and controlling how data moves around the computer system. The execution of each instruction is determined by a sequence of a control signals produced by the control unit. Now we will see the arithmetic logic unit of CPU, which carries out the calculations and logical decisions required by the program instruction. The input to an ALU are the data to be operated on a co called operands and a code indicating the operation to be performed. The ALU's output is the result of the perform operation. In further, ALU is divided into two parts, arithmetic unit and logic unit. Now we will see the registers in CPU. Registers are memory location with specific purpose. Now we will see the different registers which are in computers. Accumulator, who stores the result of calculation made by the ALU in temporary memory locations. Program counter, who keeps the track of location for the next instruction to deal with. Memory address registers, which stores memory location for a data. Now, uh, my memory data register, whose instruction that needs to be fetched from memory or stored into memory. 
stores data or instruction fetched from memory or any data that is to be transferred and stored in a memory. Current instruction register who stores the most recently fetched instruction while it is waiting to be decoded and executed. Memory The computer memory is used to store program instructions and data. It consists of many memory cells of fixed size. Each cell has an address associated with it. Two of the commonly used type of memory, RAM and secondary memory. I am explaining advantages and disadvantages of one human architecture. Control unit gets data and instruction in the same way from one memory. It simplifies design and development of control unit. Data from memory and devices are accessed in the same way. It is cheap and less physical space is required than hardware. Memory organization is in the hands of programmer. Some disadvantages of one human architecture. Serial instruction processing does not allow parallel execution of program. Parallel execution later as simulated by operating system. One bus is bottleneck. Only one information can be accessed at the same time. Instructions stored in the same memory as the data can be accidentally rewritten by an error in the program. Memory leaks. Some defective programs fail to release memory when they finish with it which could cause the computer to crash due to insufficient memory. Moving on to the next topic, we have bustling through von Neumann's architecture. So mainly there are three types of buses in VN architecture. The first one is address bus, second is data bus and the third one is control bus. So the address bus is responsible for transmitting memory addresses from the CPU to the memory. The data bus is used to transfer data between the CPU and memory while the control bus carries signals that control the operation of the system. Now we will see the uses of address bus in VN architecture. The address bus is an essential component of VN architecture as it enables the CPU to access specific locations in memory. So mainly there are two uses of the address bus. The first one is to allow the CPU to fetch instructions from memory. And the uh, second one is this it process involves sending the memory address of the next instruction to the memory which then returns the instruction to the CPU via the data bus. Now let's look at the uses of data bus in one Neumann architecture. Though, so the first one is that it is used to transfer data between the CPU and memory. Uh, another one is it is used to transfer between different components of the CPU itself such as registers and arithmetic logic units. Third one is it allows the CPU to perform calculations and manipulate data efficiently. Next we will see the uses of control bus in one Neumann architecture. First one, it is responsible for carrying signals that control the operation of the system in one Neumann architecture. Second one, it includes clock signals which synchronize the operation of different components of the CPU and interrupt signals and it also alerts the CPU to external events that requires attention. Third one, it carries control signal from the processor to other components. So guys, this was our presentation on one Neumann architecture. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like the video.